Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back office. Yes, it's the little dinosaur and the little dinosaur could only mean one thing. It's again a uh, Asian food special. I won't say Japanese food special because it's more Asian. Um, it's a Japanese style food shop, but uh, they seem to have delicacies from all over the world because of course I suspect if you're Japanese, you don't only eat Japanese things the same way we don't only eat British things like chips I mean, and beef wellington ah so that first jar that was a little bit of a mystery but less of a mystery now is some korean kimchi and if you haven't tried kimchi it's quite nice see the ingredients here cabbage hot pepper carrots garlic something onion salt sugar and vinegar and it's nice it's got a euro label on it Nutritional facts, there's 12 servings in here. I don't know, if I get into this, I think there's far fewer than that. 12 calories per serving, so that is absolutely great, isn't it? That's that's a great diet food, actually. Kimchi has a lot of flavour, and it's really quite nice. There's so many varieties, and all sorts of different veg as well, and it's got that pungent spiciness. Fills you up good, good as a diet food, I think, really, just for that reason alone, so I'll pop that there. Here we have again the uh, again from Korea. It's uh, one kilo, twenty two hundred calories. That's your daily supply of calories right there. Although to be fair, you'll have to have a stomach built of bloody iron, cast iron at that, to think you're going to eat this much hot pepper. And look, it's got a scale here. It's only at level three, so it's not even the hottest they do. Let's have a look. It's called red pepper paste. Ingredients, corn syrup, red pepper seasoning, 23.85% red pepper powder, water, salt, onion, garlic, rice water, no, rice comma water, sea salt, red pepper powder, grain alcohol, it's got the old alcohol in it, per 100 grams is 240 calories, and look, there's something here, a scale, if you know the lingo, what is this scale saying? This is just like eating a watermelon, and this is eating the sun, and it's somewhere in the middle of that. It's good though for a long old time, but I'm not sure how long it lasts when it's opened. And uh, to be honest, if I open this, I'm gonna to have to be making something spicy pretty much every day to get through it before it goes off. And I don't think it was particularly cheap. It wasn't particularly expensive. I don't think it was particularly cheap. In fact, I've got the paperwork here and I can just have a quick, quick look. I'm just looking down through the most expensive items. And yeah, it was five pounds 80. So to be honest with you, it's quite cheap too, really, for the quantity you're getting. Should we have a little sneaky peeky peeky? I don't have a, just looking around for a spoon. I have a spoon but I do have this parcel opener they gave me that could work so ooh, we'll just have a little little dip of that have a little taste shall we mmm oh yes very good it's not blow your mouth off spicy although I can sense some spices kicking in that's quite nice it's got a mmm I'm just checking because it's got this kind of ah soybean powder. I was going to say it's got this sort of gelatinous beany type texture to it, but that is lovely actually. Very nice. I think I can add that to a lot of things: soups, spicy curries, anything really. As I suspect, that's what it's designed for. Let's have a look at this other jar. These were all so well wrapped, weren't they? So well wrapped. I would like to uh, endorse the company that I bought them from, but uh, maybe they might, I might insist they send me some free stuff. But no, I'm going to contact them first, see if they're okay with that, and uh, put them down below. So this is Leo Loganma chicken flavour chilli oil with tofu. Best before shown on the lid, um, February 2019, so that's good. Two, uh, 522 calories per 100 grams and this is 280 so whew, that's well over half your day's amount of calories if you're just going to down a whole load of chicken flavour chilli oil but it's hard to tell really what um, what this is going to taste like let's see the ingredients soybean, chilli, tofu, garlic, sugar and some enhancer. enhancer now with kimchi, kimchi goes off pretty uh, 
quickly. I think once you open it, you kind of have to eat it quite quickly because it's not like a vinegar, it's a, a watery type thing. But this thing, I kind of feel like the old uh, chili will probably last a bit longer. So shall we have a quick look? Yeah, why not? And my, <laughs> my wife's gonna say to me, what the heck are you gonna do with all of these open things of chili? Are you gonna be just downing chili and be sort of trying to make yourself immune to it? <sighs> oh, I just found the perfect thing on the shelf here as well, on the back office shelf. And that would be this Calpol dispenser but I feel I've probably used it on chemicals or something, so I can't, that would have been quite handy for this. Um, we've still got our dipper thing, our parcel opener, and I can see in there, there's chunks, there is chunks of tofu, but if you roll the oil, it's just chilli, it's like solid chilli underneath that. Um, I kind of think, yeah, this works. If you remember, I was uh, playing with resins not that long ago, so I do have these ice cream sticks, and I think that this is pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, it's solid. It's, I'm pushing the, the, the ice cream stick, and it just jams up. It jams up because it's solid with chilli. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. So let's try a cube. Does that seem like a sensible amount? I mean, that's that seems like too much, if anything, but go on. Oh my word! Mmm! Mmm! Damn! This is insane! Hang on. What? It's crunchy! The tofu is like croutons and the ch chilli has like been fried. It's like crunchy. I think it's in oil because it's been cooked. And it does taste like chicken. I think we need to review the ingredients again. Hmm. There's no chicken in here, but maybe E621 flavour is something chickeny? That is insane. That's amazing. I'm going to add that to a salad. In the same way where you'd add like your bacon bits or something. That's going to absolutely do the trick. Wow, that's marvellous. It's not nearly, um, you think it's going to be insanely spicy or something, but it's not. That is gorgeous. Leo Gamma, chicken flavoured chili oil with tofu. The worrying thing, in fact, I better tell you where I got these from so that you don't, um, you don't, uh, you know, it's, called, it's from starrymart.co.uk. Starry, Starry Mart. It's a trusted Google store as well. Starrymart.co.uk, Asian market. Um, <laughs> there we go. So now we have some kick, kick all, kick all man, teriyaki, marinade and sauce. Perfect for meat, poultry, fish and veggies. It's made from naturally brewed soy sauce, wine and spices. Soy sauce and a bunch of the usual stuff. Wine, uh, soybeans, water, wheat, wine, sugar, water, garlic, spirit vinegar, salt, spice, extract, onion powder. It's pretty much the bog standard stuff, but I'm gonna have a little swig of this. I'm not gonna have it straight out of the bottle though, in case I, you know, flob back into it. I'll just have a little bit in the cap and pour the lid in the cap in my gob. Bottoms up, chin chin, let's have a go. <laughs> okay, first off, don't shoot teriyaki sauce. Mmm, it's very good. It's absolutely, it is good. <laughs> the reason I was kind of like, ah, is because it's the equivalent of having like, the difference between a chili flavored sauce that you add on your, you know, general thing, and then a chili, like an actual extract of chili. This is like a teriyaki sauce, like to use as a sort of cooking ingredient. Um, not a, not a sauce that we would have like in the West where they've mixed it with loads of sugar, like sweet chili or something. This, this is like the actual raw version, which is a bit more like a soy sauce, uh, as opposed to if you go to, um, oh, where was it? That company that Pret do, who do, do um, Asian-y type dishes, they've got a sauce that's teriyaki, but it's like a ketchup really. But yeah, that's actually great. That's really great. But 
I'm going to say the winner. I didn't try the kimchi because I don't want to eat the whole dried kimchi. I've had this before. Kimchi's great. I, uh, I can't. It's not in the same league of these because it's, it's it's just its own thing. That's fine. The winner of everything else though is this one. I'm going to say it's the. I'm going to zoom in so you can buy some. The Lo Ganma chicken flavor chili oil with tofu. That is going to be absolutely wonderful on salads and with um, veg and stuff. Brilliant. So. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed some of the, my Asian selection. I mean, it sounds like a sort of radio show, the Asian selection. And um, I've got a few more bits. You know, you saw that as a huge box. Hopefully I'll uh, be showing you some of those and not just eating them without revealing any of them. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>